Welcome to the demonstration on provisioning a VVOL's data store. The following are the high-level steps for creating a VVOL data store and verifying its configurations. Create a storage capability profile. Create a VVOL data store and associate the storage capability profile that you created to the data store. Verify the data store configurations. Create the VM storage policies. Create the virtual machine and then associate the VM storage policies to the virtual machine. A storage capability profile is a set of storage system attributes that identify a specific level of storage performance, storage efficiency, and other capabilities such as encryption for the storage object that is associated with the storage capability. On the Virtual Storage Console homepage, click Storage Capability Profiles (SCPs). Click Create to create a new SCP. Provide a name and description for the storage capability profile. Click Next. Select AFF as your platform type. Click Next. Select QoS Policy Group for the SCP, and then select the Unlimited IOPS checkbox. Click Next. Select Yes for encryption, and then click Next. The storage attributes that you can enable in this tab depend on the storage type that you select in the Platform tab. If you select Fast Storage, you can configure Space Reserve as either Thick or Thin, enable Deduplication, compression, and encryption. If you select AFF storage, you can enable encryption and tiering. Review the summary and then click Finish. You can simply create another SCP for AFF platform and with 100 IOPS following the steps described here. After creating a storage capability profile, you can create a VVOLS data store and associate the storage capability profile to it. You can use multiple storage capability profiles in a single VVOLS data store. This enables you to create flexvol volumes with different capabilities in the data store. While creating a VVOLS VM, you can then select among these capabilities with VM storage policy. Click Menu, Host and Clusters. Right-click the cluster where you want to create the data store and access the Provision Data Store Wizard. In the General tab, specify the following. Select Data Store Type as VVOL. Specify a name and description for the data store. Select iSCSI as the protocol type. In the Storage System tab, select the required SCP. The Storage System and Storage VM fields are automatically populated with the recommended values. In the Storage Attributes tab, you can either create a new volume or an existing volume. Here, we will show you how to create a new volume. Specify a name, size, and SCP. AFF Uni is our example for this FlexVol volume. Select the Grow or Grow Shrink option along with the maximum size as required and click Add. Select the default SCP, which will be used for non-data VVOLs, such as Swap. Follow these steps again to create another FlexVol volume with AFF underscore 100 IOPS. Click Next. Review the summary and then click Finish. A success message is displayed. After you provision a data store, VSC automatically creates a volume or LUN to support the data store determines which export rules or initiator groups to use or create, associates the data store with a storage capability profile, you can then verify these configurations. You can verify that the VVOLS data store and FlexVOL volumes are created with the mapped SCPs. Click Storage icon and then click the VVOL underscore DS data store that you have configured. Click Configure on tap Storage to view the FlexVol volumes for the data stores and their respective SCPs. The next step is to create VM storage policies. Click Menu, Policies and Profiles. Click VM Storage Policies. Click Create VM Storage Policy. Enter a name and description for the VM Storage Policy and click Next. Select the Enable Rules for VVOL Storage option and then click Next.
Use the Profile Name field to select from the list of storage capability profiles, AFF underscore uni, and click Next. Review the list of compatible data stores, and then click Next. Review your selections, and then click Finish. You can also create a VM storage policy with AFF underscore 100 IOPS storage capability profile. The next step is to provision a virtual machine or VM and apply the VM storage policy to the virtual machine. Click Menu and then click VMs and Templates. You can use a VM template to create a virtual machine. In the Deploy from Template dialog box, enter a name for the new VM. Select a location for the VM and then click Next. Select a compute resource for the VM and then click Next. In the Select Storage section, select the appropriate VM storage policy you created and compatible data stores are displayed. Select the required VVOLS data store and then click Next. You can select the option to power on your VM after creation and then click Next. Review your selections and then click Finish. Thank you for watching.